We have on the phone with us right now the leader of the federal NDP, Mr. Tom Mulcair. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, John. Now, we've got Dave with us this morning because John is off sick oh, as well, and that's okay. Now, you're at Halifax this morning, are you not? We are. I'm in, uh, actually, I'm on the Dartmouth side, and we're going to be having a nice event with seniors this morning with my friend and colleague, Robert Chisholm. Oh, sounds nice. great. I'm almost in that senior category. Well, Mr. <laughs> Mulcair, it has been a very, very long election campaign. Uh, the voter turnout, I can't believe it at the advance polls, has been right. amazing. Strong desire for change, Lisa. It's uh, a lot of people are involved this year, and I think it's a lot of the younger kids as well, you know, wanting to get the vote out, that kind of thing, which is great to see. But, Mr. Mulcair, we don't want to talk politics with you. Okay, let's talk something else. (laughs) We want to have fun with you. We want to let people get to know the other side of you, not the politician. Great. So we're going to throw some silly, silly questions at you. I've prepared a few. Have you, Dave? Yeah, why don't we go back and forth? All right. Well, my first one for Mr. Mulcair... Do you prefer cats or dogs? Well, Serious. we were raised mostly with dogs, but we also had a cat at home. I used to love going for walks with my dogs, but we always had both. Ah, oh, look uh, at that. Very Sweden of I you. prefer dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Go All ahead, right. Dave. Um, Mr. Mulcair, Rachel, Monica, or Phoebe? Who you got? Ooh, I would say Rachel. Yeah. Oh, good answer. You got my vote. Now, you're talking about... Um, <laughs> Oh, my God, I can't think of the name of the show right now. <laughs> show but I know. Friends. Friends, that's yeah. it. You came from a family of 10 kids. I did. Now, I've heard that you can name all your brothers and sisters in one second. Go. I can. Go Colleen, for Tommy, it. Peter, Jeannie, Danny, Debbie, Sheila, Maureen, Kelly, and Sean. Whew. Did wow. you miss anybody? I couldn't count. That was so fast. Oh, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's amazing. Very Goodwill Hunting of you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Mulcair. Except in Goodwill Hunting, you remember that his list was fake. Mine's real. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, my. That's true. Um, what do I have here? Uh, Uno or Crazy Eights? It's the same game. But which one do you prefer? Crazy Eights. Yeah. Good choice. Original. Now, if there was one person dead or alive you could spend an hour with, who would it be? Oh, that's good. Probably Winston Churchill. Oh, wow! Interesting. That is pretty. And good. he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. No, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I know. I, know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Although uh, he did live well, and he lived into his nineties, smoking lots of cigars and apparently having the occasional drink. So yeah, it's the liquor. It preserves the body, I guess. He lasted well, he longer than he was jokes. supposed to. They asked him how he lived so long, and he said, "Exercise." And then he paused, and he said, "Never did any." <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like my philosophy in life. The original Keith Richards. That's All right. right. Uh, Mr. Mulclair, your, uh, your favorite all-time Disney movie when you were growing up? Fantasia. Wow. Oh, really? Wow. Now, I you like must Mary have a complex Poppins. mind. I never got that movie. <laughs> it hurts my brain. <laughs> It's the, well. Uh, sometimes I think of that during this election campaign. But the sorcerer's <laughs> apprentice unleashing things he can't control. We just need to get you oh a my. wizard, a wizard hat, and then uh, you can get right in. So, Mr. Milk here, if you had to cook supper tonight, what's your go-to dish? My go-to dish is usually fish. I'm a big fish fan, and I love mm. cooking fish, even on the barbecue. But out here in Atlantic Canada, of course, I'd go for salmon. Oh yeah, salmon on the barbecue, a little lemon and butter, you very, very good. That isn't bad at all. All right, uh, going along with the food. Uh, Mr. Mulcair, dark or light beer? Ah, definitely 100% dark in my case. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Winston Churchill and dark beer. That, he's <laughs> just, you're a man's order, man. It, it, I'm not a big beer drinker, but if you see me order a beer, it'll likely be a, a Guinness or the closest local thing they've got. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you that the NDP has a plan for tax reductions for Canada's microbreweries? Oh. That's, very, that's gotten me into more microbreweries <laughs> across the country for an early morning beer during this campaign than you can believe. I Amazing. bet it has. Okay, uh, let's see. Would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great-great-grandchildren? Oh, definitely to the future. And that's sustainable development. I'm always thinking, I'm a grandfather, I've got a couple of grandkids, and I always think about my grandchildren and future generations and every decision I take. So definitely, I'd love to go into the future. All right, I have one more question for you, uh, Mr. Mulcair. Why does my wife always have more headaches on the weekend? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my. Somebody, you're around. (laughs) (laughs) Good answer. You're stirring the fair. I got one question for you, and then we're going to give you some time, Mr. Mulcair. If you had to live somewhere other than Canada... Yes. Where would you live? Oof. I've been fortunate enough to travel to many, many countries. I would say be a close tie between South Africa and Austria, but I would pick Austria. I just find it's a 
peaceful place, good people. Uh, I, I love uh, Austria. It'd be about the top of my list outside of Canada. It is a beautiful spot. I, I spent Austria. a day there. It's gorgeous. Good I day, really Mike. enjoy it. No, I'm just okay. So, Mr. Mulcair, <laughs> we are now going to give you 90 seconds. The whole Up 93.1 family is listening. What message do you want to send out this morning? Well, Dave and Lisa, I'll start with the word family. I, the NDP is the only party standing up for health care because the new Pacific trade deal that Mr. Harper wants to bring in would increase your drug costs. It would kill off tens of thousands of well-paid manufacturing jobs. We're going to be there standing up for your community, for your job. We always have done that, and Canadians know they can trust us. We're the only ones with a real plan for, for affordable, quality child care. And across the country, people know that what we need is lower drug costs, so we're going to be bringing in what we call pharmacare. So I guess I could sum it up this way. Child care, pharmacare, health care, mall care. Wow. Whoa. Well said. And you know what? You did that in 37 seconds. I'm impressed. Woo! <laughs> we like that very much. You got time now to go have a dark beer. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for taking <laughs> oh, the time. It's already uh... too late. <laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> that was Tom, that's Tom Mulcair, leader of the federal NDP party. And we want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy well, all schedule. The best to you, Dave and Lisa. And we'll talk to you soon, I hope. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.